Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem I got from one of my subscribers and here's a problem. If 25% of individuals have a blood group O and the frequency of the A allele is 0.3, what fraction of the population belong to the blood type AB? Let me first uh, remind you uh, that three alleles, which is A, B and O, make four blood groups. The first blood group is blood group A, second is blood group B, third is blood group AB, and the fourth blood group O. And as you see here, we have only three alleles, allele A, B, A and B, and O. So just three, A, B and O, which make these four blood groups. But these three alleles make uh, six genotypes. For example, blood group A is made by genotype AA and AO. Blood group B is made by genotype BB and BO. Blood group AB is made with only one genotype AB and blood group O also made with only one genotype, which is OO. Uh, allele A and B are co-dominant and both these alleles are dominant over the allele O. That's why we have four blood groups and six genotypes. And probably many of you know that uh, population genetics problems like this we solving using Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium and many remember this equilibrium as uh, P squared plus 2 PQ plus Q squared and all this equals to 1 or 100%. But we derive this formula from uh, this formula which is P plus Q squared. So what this stand for? This stand for dominant allele and Q stand for the recessive allele. And this two means that organism is deployed. But if we have three alleles, like in our example, this four blood groups is made by three alleles. So we also have to change slightly Hardy-Weinberg uh, formula and this time we are going to have uh, allele A plus allele B plus allele O in our gene pool and also squared because uh, organism uh, of the humans uh, is deployed. So humans are deployed. So that's why we have two here. And again what we are going to get, we are going to get A squared plus B squared plus O squared plus 2AB plus 2AO and plus 2 B O. So this is going to be expansion of uh, this equation. And again we can regroup what we see here. For example blood group A as you see is made by two genotypes so A squared is the same as A multiplied by A, right? And also this part of this formula also would stand for the uh, blood group A. And as for the blood group B, we have B squared. This is the same as B multiplied by B and B O. And this part of the formula stands for the blood group B. As for the blood group O, we have O 
squared. Uh, let me use different color. So O squared. This is the same as O multiplied by O. And as for the uh, as for the blood group AB, we have two AB here. And now you understand how we are going to solve this problem. And another step would be let me get more space. So uh, if we have three alleles in a gene pool, so basically that means that we have allele A plus allele B plus allele uh, O and these three alleles would equal to 1 or 100%. And we also told that frequency of the allele a, let me return to our problem, uh, and you see frequency of the, of the allele A is given as 0 0.3, which is also 30%. So we can put uh, 0 0.3 here. And we also know that frequency of the uh, blood group O equals to 25%. If 25% of individuals have blood group O, that means that uh, this phenotype and this genotype is present with a frequency uh, of 25% or 0 0.25 if we do all our calculations on the scale between 0 and 1. And on the scale between 0 and 100%, this 0 0.25 would be 25%. I hope this is clear. Now, uh, what else we can say? We can say that if frequency of the blood group O, or genotype OO, uh, equals to uh, 0 0.25, then we can find frequency of the O allele in this gene pool. What we have to do, we just have to take a square root from both sides. And we are going to have here frequency of the allele O, which is 0 0.5. So we can put a frequency of the allele O here, 0 0.5. And now we can easily find frequency of the allele B because we have 0 0.5, 0 0.3, which give us 0 0.8. And we know that uh, if we combine all these three frequencies, we should get 1 or 100%. So we know that frequency of the allele B is 0 0.2. So when we combine all these three frequencies, we are going to get 1. Again, we can write this as 30%. 20% and 50%. So now we can easily find frequency of the blood group AB. So this is part of the formula. Uh, so basically we have to multiply 2 by frequency of the allele A, which is 0 0.3, and by the frequency of the allele B, which is 0 0.2. 2 multiplied by 0 0.3 going to be 0 0.6 and multiplied by 0 0.2 would be 0 0.12. If we need an answer in percentage form, we have to multiply our answer by 100. And our answer would be in percentage form 12%. So this is going to be a frequency of the blood group A, B. And do not forget that here we have 2. Here we also have 2 and here we also have 2. Why? Because uh, if we expand this uh, part of this equation, uh, we are going to get 
a b and b a which is the same and when we combine we get 2 a b so do not skip the uh, steps and do not uh, jump to assumption that uh, everything you have to do is just to find a frequency of each allele which is very easy and then multiply frequency of each allele here and this is how you uh, going to get an answer do not forget that uh, blood group a b we also have to multiply by 2 just like uh, in this example when we have only two alleles uh, heterozygous genotype uh, also we have to multiply by 2 because we can get pq and qp which is the same that's why we put two here. And if you want to find the frequency of the blood group A, do not forget that we have to multiply frequency of the A allele by itself. So 0 0.3 we have to multiply by itself plus also 2AO. So this uh, two parts of this formula stand for the blood group a. So we have to combine these numbers and we also have to combine uh, these two frequencies in order to find frequency of the blood group B because each of this represent a genotype. This one represent genotype BB and this represent frequency of the genotype BO and together these two genotypes would make one blood group B. And the same is true for the rest of uh, frequencies represented here. Some blood groups represented with only one number here, like blood group O and blood group AB, but others, like blood group A and B, represented here by two genotypes, which we have to combine. So I hope this is clear and this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.